Hey, Lawn Care Nation. In this video, we're gonna talk about power raking, dethatching, or scarifying lawns in your lawn care business. Coming up. So hey, Lawn Care Nation, what exactly is power raking, dethatching, or scarifying lawns? What's the difference between the three? And what do you need in terms of equipment to be able to offer this type of service? So all three of these things essentially mean the exact same thing. And they all actually all use the exact same piece of equipment. Power raking and dethatching here in North America are very common terms, uh, whereas scarifying is uh, used more abroad in other areas outside of uh, North America to describe those exact same services. So depending where you're from, the machine that's used to provide these services is also known under a bunch of different names. Uh, so they're known as a power rake, as a dethatcher, or as a scarifier. So what exactly does this service do? Well, essentially it's all about removing organic material out of your lawn. Now this can be things like the dead layer of thatch that's found and builds up over time in a lawn or things like moss that will grow in wet climates. So essentially power raking, dethatching, or scarifying is the mechanical or power version of going out with a rake into your lawn and actually raking uh, the turf to bring up that thatch, to rake out that moss. Uh, this is basically the more uh, or less labor intensive version of it, of walking behind the machine, letting the machine do most of the work to loosen up that material. You'll still have to go behind it to clean up what it's loosened up, but uh, essentially it will do the hard part out of actually digging out that material out of the turf. And uh, it does a good job of removing things like thatch and moss out of a lawn uh, without uh, too badly damaging the surrounding grass. So if you've got healthy grass uh, in around uh, the lawn and you've got these patches or areas where there's moss or thatch, the machine will remove that stuff uh, and leave the healthy lawn intact for the most part. Uh, depending on your settings on the machine. So power raking is usually offered at two different times throughout the season, depending on where you live and what the conditions are in the area that you live. So either in the spring or in the fall. And the reason for this is that uh, when you're doing something as uh, you know intensive as power raking to a lawn, it can take a long time uh, for that lawn to recover fully. And you wanna be able to give that lawn the most amount of time uh, to recover before heading into um, you know any sort of stressful period like either uh, the summer heat or uh, the winter depending again on where you live so in most cases power raking will be followed by some other services as well like overseeding and top dressing so you want to do it at a time basically where you're going to give the lawn uh, the most amount of time in ideal growing conditions to be able to grow uh, you know a nice healthy lawn with a, a strong root system system to be able to go into uh, that summer heat and drought or through say a really wet uh, damp winter. So when I'm actually at a customer's lawn and they need some sort of power raking or dethatching uh, and I'm talking to them about it, I actually use those two words to describe uh, varying intensities of that same service. So I'll refer to a, a dethatching as a lawn that just needs a really light um, pass with the machine, maybe just one pass, two passes at the most uh, with the uh, tines set very shallow so that they're barely uh, touching the surface of the soil. Uh, on the other hand, with power raking, uh, when I talk to a customer about power raking, I'm referring to a more intensive service um, where it'll be at least two passes, possibly three passes, and the tines are now set a bit deeper, uh, you know, into that maybe uh, within an eighth or quarter inch uh, into the soil where it's actually cutting uh, into that turf surface. So if, um, you know, the lawn isn't too bad and it's just thatch that we're removing, uh, then that can be done, you know, quite quickly and easily with a quick pass with those tines not set too deep, uh, just run over it with the machine, loosen up that debris, uh, in most cases, I can take my lawnmower after and just mow the lawn and it'll pick up that stuff. And that's what I talk about when I'm referring to as a dethatching. When I'm talking about a power raking, like I said, this is more intensive. So this is a process where I will start by cutting the lawn as short as possible 
I will go over the entire lawn in one direction, basically in stripes uh, with the power rake and it's removing uh, you know, heavy moss infestations. Once I'm done that, I will take a regular rake, I'll rake up all of that debris and then load it up in the trailer. I'll then take the power rake and hit the lawn again in the opposite direction, doing stripes again. Uh, doing the entire lawn, I will rake up that debris and then again I will uh, then judge from there whether the lawn needs a third pass uh, and in some extreme cases a fourth pass or basically I'm just repeating that pattern just then going in the opposite direction again uh, each time and uh, cleaning up uh, in between. Um, so that's what I refer to when I describe a power rake uh, situation to a customer and uh, what I would describe a dethatching uh, situation to a customer. Now, if you watch my video last week where I talked all about aerating and aerators, um, this situation was similar for me. The price of a brand new uh, power rake here in Canada, you're looking at about uh, $2,700 or so in that ballpark, uh, you know, just under $3,000 range uh, to buy a brand new power rake. This again is a tool that is available very uh, widely at every tool rental place, at every Home Depot uh, rental shop will have power rakes available on a four hour, a daily, a weekly rate uh, if needed. So now, of course, because power raking is a lot more labor intensive, that also means it takes a lot more time to do. So you're not going to be able to go and rent a machine and bang off, say, 15 uh, of these client properties uh, with that rental in one day. Uh, on average for me, um, if I'm doing uh, you know, a big job, I think I may uh, do on average maybe two properties per day. If I'm working uh, by myself, I'll do one in the morning where I'm power raking and cleaning it up and getting it all prepped and then going on to the next customer and doing the same thing there in the afternoon. If I'm working um, with a partner or an employee or something, then I can usually do double that, get four of them done, maybe five. And I think, uh, you know, depending on the size, uh, there's been days where we've uh, squeezed in six uh, smaller properties uh, and doing a bunch of power raking uh, all in the same day. So again, in this scenario, I purchased my power rake used. And uh, again, it was at a tool equipment place. Uh, it was a different one than the one I got the uh, aerator from, uh, but uh, it was the same scenario. This uh, tool rental place was actually just having a fall sale of uh, their tools. Uh, I went to go look and they had three or four uh, used uh, power rakes to buy at the time. Uh, so I purchased one, I think it cost me $300 uh, at the time, uh, going back 12 years or so. Uh, I bought it uh, right after I bought that aerator and I've been using it uh, every season since. Uh, I only just this last year replaced uh, all of the uh, cutting tines on the bottom and throughout the years, every season, I usually have to replace uh, the belt that drives uh, the rake portion off of the engine. Uh, those will wear out. Uh, uh, quite quickly uh, when you're doing a lot of heavy like moss removals in lawns. Now my biggest tip for somebody power raking is to um, watch how you're pricing these properties. Uh, you're going to need experience doing the process to actually see how long it takes. Uh, but you have to remember there's some other um, things involved here, like removing the debris and what you're going to do with that debris. It's not like aerating where you're just going to aerate and that's it. You have all of this debris that you've removed from a lawn. So now you're either going to have to take that away with you, uh, or if they have, uh, say a back uh, forested area or a compost area that you can dump that in, uh, that's all going to factor in, uh, um, the types of pricing that you're going to do for power raking. So I, another thing that I've learned over the years uh, is that I usually will package that power raking um, in a complete lawn renovation package. So they basically uh, I would be going to a customer's house. I'd be putting moss control down the first week. I would come back a week later. I would do that power raking, remove all that debris. I would aerate the lawn uh, and then I would uh, take that debris to the dump. I would come back the third and final visit and this is where then I would lay down uh, or reseed the entire lawn. I would put a starter fertilizer down. I would put some lime down and then I would uh, top dress the entire thing with soil and basically then all the customer has to do is make sure the lawn gets watered properly and you know four weeks to six weeks later they've got an entirely brand new thick and lush 
lawn. So the other nice thing there is that because you're doing all those services, you're also increasing that uh, overall profit. So instead of just doing a power rake for say $200 or $400, uh, you're turning that power rake job into a complete lawn rental that's say $1,300 uh, and increasing your overall profit exponentially. So you can see uh, power raking or dethatching or scarifying um, is a great way to add a huge profit potential to your bottom line. So there you have it guys, power raking or defatching or scarifying lawns is a great service that you can add to your uh, lawn care customers. It's a natural upsell service. And again, it's one of those services that leads to even more upsells where you can increase that overall uh, profit. So that's it for this one guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know, do you offer power raking or defatching or scarifying in your lawn care business. Also, do you have any questions about uh, those services? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. So if you like this video, I'll leave the video that I did all about aeration in your lawn care business up here in this corner for you to enjoy, or I'll leave another video for you to watch up here in this corner for you to enjoy. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.